In today's episode, John shares his review of Chef Mickey's, the Outer Rim Lounge, and the all-new Orlando Margaritaville Resort. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing, that it was all started by a mouse. You are listening to the Main Street Magic Podcast with your hosts, Jeremy Stein and John Marone. Hello and welcome to another episode of Main Street Magic. I am your host, Jeremy Stein, and I am joined, as always, by Mr. John Marone. Hello. In today's episode, John's going to share some information on his recent quick weekend down at Walt Disney World. Make sure you check us out on the web at MainSTMagic.com, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter at MainSTMagic. So where are you calling in from tonight, John? I am, I want to say I'm in Hotlanta, except it's supposed to be, I think, like, 41 tonight and 37 tomorrow night so oh, um so it's cold lanta yeah I am. <laughs> so then how long are you there um three nights okay so that's a long trip yep. for you yeah yeah in regular. one spot <laughs> yeah in well three nights three different hotels ah uh, so. okay well that's good you still get to to mix it up so yeah so um, i will get around yeah well that's good we'll well, wanted to get some information. Uh, this will be a little bit uh, of a different trip review. We're going to talk about your experience uh, this PAX weekend. You had a, a quick trip down to Walt Disney World and the Orlando area with your family. Uh, and just wanted to talk a little bit about that, um, uh, especially about Chef Mickey's, which I know you had the, the chance to go to. But um, why don't you just, you know, run through a little bit um, of what your Saturday looked like uh, and how you ended up at Chef Mickey's. Okay, so I'll do our uh, Saturday. So this was something that was only planned within the last two or three weeks. And we just decided to run down for Saturday because we wanted to see something, which we'll talk about in a second. And then, um, you know, I looked at some dining reservations and saw 745 for Chef Mickey's. So I went ahead and grabbed it and uh, booked it because I figured eh, we could do um, – Magic Kingdom or, you know, watch fireworks. Who knows what we want to do. But at least we'd be right there because um, we were not staying on property. I had a, uh, a Marriott free night certificate that I had to use before the end, middle of March or that, and it would expire. Okay. So that was uh, one of the things. So I stayed um, off-site at Spring Hill Suites over on, like, Flamingo Terrace. Yeah. Which, actually, that's right off of Western Way which is the entrance that comes out right next, you know, between Coronado. Um, you're right next to Coronado. If you turn right, you're at Blizzard Beach. Okay. So the road comes out right there. So you're, you know, I'd say I was three miles from hotel to that corner. Okay. And Not bad. It, yeah, it's no, I mean, it's just one road. You turn out of the hotel, you turn left, and you, you're on Western Way, and you just follow it all the way right into Disney. And, you know, there's a, a welcome to Disney gate there that you go under, and um, you just kind of go through some of the, the backside of stuff. But it seems like there's a lot of construction and, and items starting to go up on that side of the property as well. Not for Disney, but for outside resorts and um, communities and developments. Yeah. That's one of the things we did. We went and looked at a place and, you know, this is interesting because there's been so much talk lately about, you know, parking pass, you know, rates for hotels and, um, you know, that took up that, you know, that sent everybody into a tizzy for, um, you know, at least a week um, that oh, that yeah, was happening. Tizzying. Oh yeah. They're still a tizzy. <laughs> Well, or maybe it was a frenzy, a frenzy and now it's down, yes. it's down to a tizzy now. Now it is, yeah, it's been downgraded slightly. But, you know, I started looking because you and I, you stay almost exclusively on site. I will stay on site um, mainly if I'm using DVC points. I will stay off site if I'm using Hilton or Marriott points. I have used a, um, you know, a condo before, you know, a vacation by owner where we had some extended family with us and we went down and you know got a i think maybe a three bedroom or four bedroom condo before yeah and so you just wonder if more of those things i mean they're already popular um just no different than you go down bonnet creek right and you have a um you, you know that huge complex there which is wyndham resorts which are all timeshares and that yeah but I went and checked out a place called um, Margaritaville Orlando Resort, 
And this is on 192, which is Earl of Bronson Memorial Highway. I think this land that it's on, for those of you who go way back, and I want to say at least 20 years or longer, this, I believe, used to be the exact property that Splendid China was on. And Splendid China was, I want to say it was a theme park, but I don't, it didn't have rides. You <laughs> went there, and there were just miniatures of famous sites from China. Like there were, I mean, it was almost, I mean, you'd almost say it was like a Lego land type, but it was just, it was just, it, just these things that you walk through that were just all different, almost dioramas of famous places of China. So it was a whole park and they had some shows and acrobats and stuff, but yeah, it was called Splendid China and that park closed many, many years ago, um, decades ago. And I believe this resort is on that land. Okay. So, um. This resort could be something for somebody to keep in mind if they're look if they are a person who stays off site and is interested in staying in a house or staying in a resort that you know might be different. So um, right on 192, this is going to have a water park um, which people can buy tickets to go into. So the water park hasn't been started yet, but it would open sometime next year and it'll be just a great big water park. I mean, log flumes and slides and racers and all kinds of stuff there. So that, um, land is there for that. There's then a central village, which is going to be 41 shops or 41 storefronts. I believe they said 13 of them will be, dining establishments and then the rest are going to be stores and um you know some of the dining establishments that'll be there is there's a um uh, rascal flats is putting in a restaurant and it'll also have a little bit of a music venue there gene simmons of kiss apparently has some concept of a it's like a craft beer location with food okay. and that's going in there's a family game place going in similar to like a dave and busters a movie theater um, but the movie theater will be one of those ones where every single seat is the big cushion loungers yeah. with service right to your chair um there's a burger fi going in so for those people who know in and out from the west coast those of you that know five guys from the east coast you know shake shack you know everything i think burger fi is one of the best burgers there are so um you know that'll be there so that also is open to the public okay so the water park and those shopping is all available to the public oh okay when you get beyond that there's a gate and then there is a resort, Margaritaville Resort. And I want to say it's about 170 rooms. Okay. And, um, you know, just a hotel. I mean, and it'll have pools. It'll have a band shell. It has a lagoon. In the lagoon, you could do paddle boarding. You could do kayaking in. and um, You know, just all kinds of different activities there. There will also be a great lawn with a band shell that they'll have a lot of musical groups in. And so a spa, um, three restaurants in the resort. So the only way you're getting to the resort, though, is if you're staying there. Um, So otherwise, that's not open to the public. It's only open to guests. Yeah. And then beyond that, behind the resort... Um, they are going to build some condos, which will be timeshares, but I don't think there's a date on those yet. And then there is construction of what they call cottages. So cottages, there'll be a thousand cottages. There are anywhere from one to eight bedrooms, and they <laughs> eight. Um, yeah, but all of them sleep two more than whatever. Okay. So a one bedroom has. A, a king size bed, one bedroom, but then it also has a pull out couch and a living room that sleeps two more. Okay. So everything's like that. But so one to eight bedrooms, you will own, you know, if you buy it, you can own the cottage. 
if you're somebody that doesn't own it, these cottages can also be placed into a rental pool and you're going to be able to rent them. So, nice. you know, an eight bedroom one might even have a pool with it. So you think of a, a family or multiple families going for a big, you know, reunion, a bachelor, bachelorette party, stuff like that would probably use something like that, where maybe a regular family is using one of the smaller ones if they choose to, to rent there. Um, on these cottages, they're fully furnished by Ethan Allen. Oh, man. So they're turnkey, right? So if if somebody buys it or if you just rent it, realize that you're going to have all your linens. You're going to have plates and dishes and um, a Margaritaville concoction maker <laughs> is included. Of course. Um, for, all for that stuff. slushies. Yeah, so you, you make your own <laughs> make your own slushies. So um, stuff like that. So they just start. They have four models there, and they um, they just started construction last Friday on the um, foundations for many of the homes for phase one. Okay. And there'll be seven total phases, which makes up the thousand cottages. Um, so the resort um, is supposed to be open by the end of the year. Okay. I don't know whether it be November or December, but um, you know people will be able to start staying there. And the cottages, I believe, will you know if they broke ground now, they're saying depending on the size of the cottages, um, anywhere from you know say three months. You know, yeah. so like one, two, three bedrooms take about three months. Four, five, six bedrooms take about four, and then the big eight bedroom takes about five months. Yeah. That makes sense. So, um, those are there. They, I think they said that they have 750 deposits down already on the thousand cottages. Jeez, and that's insane. Yeah, not already. So, um, it's an issue. So just something I get, I guess more and more places like that are opening. And I, you know, we, I probably don't open my eyes as much as, you know, where I'm staying, you know, I'm not staying 10 minutes off property if I stay off property, right? I'm staying right at Disney Springs. Right. So I haven't expanded a lot out of that bubble in a long time. But when you start expanding out of the bubble, there's a lot of stuff here. And then the interesting to me is as you're pulling out of Margaritaville to get back on 192, you're looking dead straight at Animal Kingdom Lodge. Oh, okay. So you can see the thatched roof. And you can see the kind of the top of the resort um, right from there at 192. So you're really not that far away. No, not at all. Um, and it opens up. A, I mean, a lot. And no different. I don't know if Celebration has rentals, or but they have condos in there as well that people can buy. And I don't know if they rent them out or not. And I know there's a um, hotel in there in Celebration I've stayed at once before, which was a nice resort. Um so there's a lot more things open. So people who are panicked about the parking um, and maybe they're expanding their view on where they might stay, hey, there's some other options out there, or at least other options that could be opening up soon that might have a lot of amenities, which is something that people look for. Oh, yeah. No, this sounds perfect. Yeah, I want to I wanna get by and check that out. And then with that, with the shopping and the entertainment and the restaurants, um, it, it seems like that will be a good spot for those that do have a vehicle and maybe are staying on property to, you know, if, if you're not spending all the days in the park and you've got some free time, this might be a great spot that's very close to head over to and enjoy a day, especially with, you know, having a water park um, uh, and stuff like that. So the resort part will be very interesting. I'll, I'll be excited to check that out and see if that's something that, you know, we might regularly add to our list to stay at. Um, yeah, and um, there, if you're at the cottage, you have all the amenities from the hotel, so you get to use their pool okay. and, and all that, and I know one of the pools has a swim-up bar. Oh, nice. So <laughs> That's awesome. How do we not have one of those on any of the, the Disney properties? That yeah, would be, interesting. That would be, that nice, would be yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, that's um, really cool. No, yeah, I mean, thanks. Uh, it's it's cool that you're able to check that out. Um yeah, and share that information. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to one of our trips coming up. I'm, yeah, I may have to take some time just to drive through there and kind of check it out and see how that's progressing because it sounds sounds pretty amazing. 
Yeah, it's pretty neat. And all the cottages, just because it's Margaritaville, they're all themed to a Key West style. So yeah. um, they're very beachy um, with it. But yeah, you get all that, and they, they come with four different interiors that you can pick out. And each interior is based on a Jimmy Buffett song. Oh, nice. So you could get the Son of a Sailor package or the Paradise package or yeah. that. So there's just different furniture packages that go along with yeah. it. Yeah, hopefully there's not a cheeseburger in Paradise. There's package. not a cheeseburger in Paradise. Okay. Yeah, there is not. Yeah, I, would not, I don't think I don't think that one would get picked a lot, but um, <laughs> no, I'm not sure that's fr- an Ethan Allen's collection anyway. So No, no, or Fruitcakes, which is one of my favorite songs. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that would be a good one too. That one might work for some people though. Um, yeah. But... So, so you checked that. So that was what you did during the day, and yeah, and that so was that's kind what of the we did during the you day. Guys to originally go down was to take a look at this area and you know see what's going up, and and then uh, work in, of course, a little bit of uh, a visit to Disney while you're there, as <laughs> any sane person would do. Yeah. So we had some fast passes for Magic Kingdom. We were mixed on whether we were going to use them or not, um, just because I booked them, you know, late afternoon, early evening, that would tie into dinner. Yeah. Now it was Michelle, the twins, myself, and then my daughter, who was on spring break, joined us. We, she's let her Disney past lapse just because of school and everything. Kind of wasn't worth the cost. Yeah. Um, you know, for for her to do it right now, so we would ended up just kind of leaving her. Um, <laughs> You know, we're going to go ride some rides, and she would have hung out, but that was fine. So we just went to the Contemporary. Um, I said our reservation was about 745. I think we got there about 5, got up to the – and for being the start of spring break, you know, pulled up to the guardhouse, said, eating at Chef Mickey's, and didn't check our band, didn't check our ID, nothing, just said, you know, valet parking or self-parking. Um so it was one of the rare instances where it wasn't an inquisition to get into the lot. Yeah. Yeah, so we went in, walked around, you know, did, hit the shops up on the fourth floor, and then we went and sat at the outer rim just to have some drinks mm-hmm. um, and just wait for dinner. And March Madness was going on, so I think uh might have been the Kentucky game was, was playing on the TV. So we sat and we watched some, and Michelle had some wine. I had the Schaffenhofer, of course. which comes to the table in a bottle. Nice. With a, it's something with a fro- different about it, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, with a frosted glass. Yep. So um, had a couple of those, and that was good. And the waitress was nice. She reminded, you know, brought it up and said, hey, if you have tables in Wonderland, annual pass, whatever. So um, I would have asked anyway, but she brought it up. So I had my um, tables in Wonderland, so 20% off um, our drinks there. And then they also, if you're there, will give you a snack mix, right? It's a bar, mm-hmm. right? Give you a salty snack mix, and this way you eat and you drink more. Um, of course. Yeah. But she brought it. She said, this is a spicy snack mix. So it was. <laughs> I love spicy stuff, but this was just, this is one where they definitely want you to drink, oh. right? You go, you go to a bar and you get a snack mix and it has the pretzels and chips and they're overly salty and all that. That's fine. This one was that plus really spicy. <laughs> so it's like, the, you know, the Schaffenhofer is like water. You're like, okay, I'll take that and give me another one, another drink. Otherwise, I gotta, I'm not having another handful of this snack mix. So um, if you do get the snack mix there, be prepared. It's a spicy one. Okay. <laughs> and then that was it we uh lined up for chef mickey's to get in and you know when you go to chef mickey's and you saw and you check in um you go to the first desk they check you in they give you a pager and then they send you to the right to go get a picture taken and the picture is a um a statue of chef mickey it's not really mickey it's chef mickey um, with a giant plate behind you and you take pictures and they could tag it to your magic band. If you are part of the photo pass program or memory maker, or they can give it to you on a card or you can buy them. So anything like that. So you can take your picture and then you have a little waiting area that you set in until your buzzer goes off. Then you go to another counter and then they'll take you to be seated. Um, so we, you know, we probably waited in line to check in maybe five, ten minutes. 
and then probably waited another five, ten minutes before our pager went off. So, not bad. Um, when we're seated, and they tell you who the characters are for the night, so Mickey, Minnie, um, Donald, Goofy, and Pluto. Nice. They tell, they tell you what rotation they take, not in order, but just where we were city, seated. They're like, they're going to come down, you know, the right wall, go along the back wall, and then they'll come to you. So if you, once you see them kind of come in the room, realize you'll be pretty close. Um, but most of them had just left the room we were in. So it was perfect. We were able to go get our food. Now, this buffet, um, to me, is always hit or miss. Um, $50 for adult, 30 for kids. Okay. So, and then you can add your tables in Wonderland or any discounts um, to that. There's a section for meats and cheeses, salads, um, your cook, you know, your peel and eat shrimp. Um, so that is one section. They do have a carving section where they had prime rib and a, uh, and pork. Sometimes that could be turkey or whatever, but the, that night it was this. And then they usually have some other dishes. So they had a, um, a cornbread with chili, which actually wasn't bad. They had, um, a pot roast. A salmon, which Michelle said said it was really, really good. Um, let's see, pot stickers. Yeah, so some different chicken dishes and, you know, just cook some different ways. And the buffet has two sides. So one side gets very crowded. The other side, everything seems to be well stocked because very few people know that it's that side and the same thing. So it's like one side, the shrimp was empty. The other side, it was mounded up like a mountain. <laughs> so, you know, it's just a matter of if you, for where we were sitting, you walk on the other side, which is the furthest side away from us. Um, there was plenty of food on our side. There was a line always. So it's just knowing that there's two sides. Yeah. And then on the kids, um, you know, the kids section, there's mac and cheese, chicken nuggets, tater tots, broccoli, and maybe something else. Um, this buffet used to have a lot more choices. There was even a time when it had sushi on there. Um, there's been a lot, but I, I just think the number of offerings have really been cut back on this buffet. So if you're going there for the food, this probably isn't your place. Yeah. Right? You're going there for the atmosphere, and you're going there to meet the big five. Um, you're not going there to have the meal of a lifetime. The item that probably is worth it then is the dessert station. So they do have an ice cream station where you can make your own ice cream and plenty of different toppings to put on it. And then they have tons of different desserts. So we were there on St. Patrick's Day. They had brownies with green sprinkles on it. But they have macarons. They have just tons of little, they have little um, Mickey domes of just a Oreo cookie with a chocolate round chocolate on it. And then two little chocolate for ears that look like Mickey's, um, cheesecake, little cheesecake, little key lime pie, and tons of stuff. So actually their desserts are really good. The main courses were fine. Everything we ate was really, was good. Last time our experience was a little so, so, but this time the food was good. It's just not a ton of variety. Um, that you're going to go through here and just say, I'm going to try eight different things and this is going to be wonderful. That's not, you know, not the place, yeah. but each character came around, spent time with the kids, took pictures. Um, Gianna was telling every character that came up a joke. Well, first, <laughs> she, well, first, first they asked every character that came up, where's your green? How come you're not wearing green? Oh, yeah. And so every character was like stunned in that, and, like you know, Goofy pointed the broccoli on her plate, like, "Oh, okay, there's your you're eating broccoli. That was your green." And um, and then the kids would take turns telling them jokes. So Gianna's joke was, "What is a hamburger's favorite day?" St. Patty's. Oh, <laughs> nice. She. she 
She made that one up, unless she heard it from someone I've never heard of before. I've, so I've not heard every, that one. Well done. Every though. every character was uh, bent over in laughter for the that, <laughs> and then um, Gavin told some jokes, but I don't remember what his were. They weren't as memorable. Yeah, <laughs> but the characters did a good job of uh, pretending to laugh at That's each great. one of them. Yeah, it's great when you have that good interaction, and they really do spend some of that time, um, which is why a lot of those you know character meals obviously are. are are still so good for the value, even if the food isn't always up to par. You know you're going to get solid, really good interaction most of the time. Um, the other thing to keep in mind there, too, is if you have to use the restroom, the restroom's downstairs. Hmm. So there's a staircase in the corner that you go down this thin hallway and take the stairs down, and there's bathrooms there. So don't eat too much, don't drink too much while you're there. Correct. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then after that, you know, it was late enough, and uh, we said, "That's it. Let's uh, let's wrap it up." So we went we went to the hotel for the night. No, for with that hotel in that Spring Hill. I mean, obviously you were staying on points, but is this a place where? You know, again, if, if you were looking to pay cash and you decided you were staying off site, is this somewhere you would recommend people go to? Because I've heard that Flamingo, uh, like crossing area, has has a few pretty good hotels that are that are still very close to the action. Close to the action, but there's really only two hotels right now. There's a okay. Spring Hill, a Spring Hill Suites and the Town Place Suites, and they're okay. connected and they share the same pool. Ah, and. They were, I mean, it was fine. I mean, they're they're decent size rooms, decent size resorts. So, I mean, even for you know Spring Hill Suites, you can put six people in a room, okay, right? Two two and two beds plus a pull out couch if you had to. So, oh, yeah. you know, four or five six people is fine. Um, and you know, I think you have enough room. You just have the one bathroom, but you also have the mini fridge in there, and that. So, it, yeah, it's not. I don't know how much it runs um, dollar-wise. I don't think it's too, too bad. Um, but you are away from everything. Yeah. So even though you're close by driving, um, they do have a shuttle, but I think you pay for the shuttle Okay. from there. It's not a free shuttle. Okay. But there's nothing you can walk to. Ah, so gotcha. unlike, you know, so we're, you're staying at the Disney Springs Resorts, more hustle and bustle, more traffic, but you can walk across the street and you got all of Disney Springs. This, once you're at the resort, you're at the resort. Okay. All right. right? I call it a resort. Once you're at the hotel, there is yeah. no resort. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, you're at the hotel, you're there. Um, you know, but they do have some food options there and the pool looked pretty decent. Yeah. Okay. So still so that was an option. Sa- yeah, could be an option. That was it. That was Saturday. Sunday we got up and... Um, Said goodbye to uh, Alexis, who was heading back to uh, to school there to uh, finish up the rest of spring semester. And then the kids wanted to go to a park, so we asked them what one, and they said Hollywood Studios. So I hopped on that morning and looked at Fast Passes and was able to get a Fast Pass for Star Tours, Muppets, and Little Mermaid. Nice, not bad. Those, Especially so, grabbing a Star Tours well, last minute's pretty good. Yeah, and there was only there was one available in the morning, like ten forty to eleven forty, yeah. whatever, something like that. And then the next one wasn't until like five thirty. Oh, okay. So there was just one morning one available. Anything else? Tower Terror, and that there was Toy Story Mania was gone for the day. Nothing else was gone for the day. But they were now all evening times. Yeah. So yeah, that was the only difference between them. So we um, we did somewhat sleep in. So when we left the hotel at ten, breakfast the free breakfast had finished at nine thirty. Oh. <laughs> so we um, I just said let's just drive straight to the park, go in there and go to Starbucks. Um, you know, and just grab a muffin and a drink, and then we'll figure out something for lunch or something later. And we said that was fine. So we got there, um, got lucky parking-wise in that while we were in row film 57. 
we were only about five away from the tram. Nice. So it's always a nice win when that happens, and it's not, oh, look, they're starting a new row. Yeah, yeah you're right. 100, yeah, you're 100 yeah. cars down. Yes, and they're starting it with my car. Right. Nice. Right. <laughs> right. So I was panicked because I always try and look, and it's like I saw somebody way down at the end, and I'm like, no, 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 and cars <laughs> were kind of stopped. But then I saw the cars in front of us start getting put in closer to the end here, and I'm like, okay, good, made it through. Um, yeah, so we got in there, got to Starbucks, and so now, you know, here we are, Starbucks, it's 1030, right? I mean, security wasn't bad getting through. Um, I had one backpack, Michelle took the kids through, so, you know, waited, got through that, not much, I think we breezed through the ticket, um, you know, figure scan, and then hit Starbucks, I'm amazed at the lines that Starbucks get. Oh yeah, yeah. You need a fast pass. <laughs> it's crazy. It's cr- I mean, it's, it's non-stop crazy. Stop all day. Yeah, I, it's just, and I'm not a coffee drinker. Yeah. Right. I'll I'll do a ton of iced tea. I'll do hot tea. You know, I'll do water. I don't do soda. I don't do. I mean, so the line moves pretty quick. So Michelle got a breakfast sandwich. I had a wrap which was like steak, egg, and a tomatilla salsa. Mm-hmm. I'd never seen that at Starbucks before, but it was actually really good. Yeah, yeah. I don't Yeah, I don't think I've seen that one. I've gotten their, um, I think it's spinach and, and feta wrap before that they have at, the, at most of the Starbucks. But, they're, yeah, their breakfast items aren't too bad. No. And then we, um, we went and sat outside, ate it. The... Um, Stormtroopers with Captain Phasma were doing their parade. Yeah. So, you know, Gavin was happy. He ran down their street and watched that. And then we head straight to Star Tours. Now, the line for the Fast Pass line for Star Tours was like huge. It wasn't moving. And we were almost back to like where the bathrooms were. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, even when we got through with Fast Pass and we were in the queue inside waiting, we were like equal to the people who were waiting. And it was saying a 35 minute wait. And I'm like, Fast, there's no advantage to Fast Pass today. Yeah. I wonder if it I, I don't know what happened. Down. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but then we did finally start moving. But it was probably one of my longest waits ever. I'd say, I'd say we were probably a good. Gosh, fifteen to twenty minutes. Oh yeah, that's crazy with the fast pass, especially yeah, Star even with fast pass. You normally yeah. breeze right through that thing. Um, so we so our our ship was Kylo Ren stopped our ship right to yep. start, but then during it we had. And I'm going to be bad. I need Gavin to help me out on this, or Gianna. <laughs> there was a woman who during is, gave us our transmission. Yeah, um, Maz can... Uh, yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah, that's which, a cool one. Yeah. The use which, of 3D is really well done. Um, Which always is BB-8, right? Yeah. Or do they still do Yoda? Uh, no, it's currently since they switched over. It's um, Poe, Maz Quintana, BB-8, or I can't remember who the fourth one is right now. Um, okay. But yeah, it was once they added those last Jedi scenes, and they're still kind of on. They're still really on that that one. It's almost the same ride each time. Now the Kylo Ren beginning is is different. Sometimes it's him, and sometimes it's just the stormtroopers. Um, but everything right. else throughout, other than the transmission, is the exact same for every ride. And then, of course, at some point they're supposed to do where they split it, and you'll choose your path. You know whether you do kind of the original. Um, I think it's gonna be the original six films, and then there's gonna be a different path for the last two or or when the third when episode nine comes out um so it's still there isn't as much excitement to ride it over and over again right now because you're getting mostly the same thing right though i haven't had poe show up yeah he's he's also another good one i also made a comment that i have never ever been the rebel spy oh no 
And I, I mean, I don't know how many times I've ridden that. Oh, hundreds. I bet. Hundreds. <laughs> I've never, Gavin's never been, Gianna has. Okay. Um, I th- but I've think. never been to Rebel Spy. Yeah, so the Rebel Spy Rhonda was has. the kid next to uh, Gavin. Oh, okay. The, the one time I know I was, um, it was when I went down and it was, it was just me. Um, and it was that first day that they d- introduced the new scenes. And the one time I'm the Rebel Spy, I was staring at my phone. <laughs> so, that figures. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so we did Star Tours. Weather was beautiful. Did Muppets. And, um, you know, I, I don't know. I still always like that movie, even though you know every effect in it. Oh, of course. It's timeless. Yeah. And then we uh, got some Mickey ice cream and uh, called it a day and drove back home. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not. Yeah, it's a, not a not a bad little uh, weekend, especially with grabbing some of the fast passes last minute with uh, with Star Tours and all, and um, yeah, getting to especially experience Chef Mickey's and all. Um, now, what's really going to be interesting is going to be our next couple of trip reviews coming up because uh, yours is going to be a, a cruise trip review, and mine is going to be the insanity of going to Disney uh, during spring break with a group of ten people trip review. So I'm hoping I'll be able to actually do one by the time I get back. Let's yeah, see. so we we had on the Disney Dream um, Monday the 26th uh-huh. um, four nights. So we come back Friday, which is Good Friday. Yep. Um, and you guys are heading when? Yep, we're saying Monday. Yeah, we'll be Monday through Friday at uh, Coronado Springs. Uh, we're doing parks Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday with, with all of my family. They just got three-day tickets. Um, cause they'll pretty much be spending their Monday and Friday travel time. Um, we, we are going Sunday. We're going to stay at our friends, uh, that live about 30 minutes from Disney and our goal, depending on what the weather does here over the next week is to hit one of the water parks, um, Monday morning before all my family gets in town. Uh, if not, we'll probably just shoot over to Epcot and, and check out flower and garden or something, but it'll be a, um, it'll be an interesting week. I just spent all afternoon doing the touring plans and putting in my fast passes and um trying not to have an anxiety attack over <laughs> over all the things but but the good thing and, and i think i've mentioned this before is you know all my family that's coming don't i don't really think they have any expectations i don't think that they would leave saying oh i didn't get to do that they don't really know what there is to do i mean it's all kind of in my hands just to to take them around and just you know it'll be the uh 10 of us which includes my brother um, my two nephews, my niece, and my parents, uh, and then of course our family of four. So I mean, it's going to be more about having all ten of us together for a week, I think, than you know how much we get to ride or or how many things we see. Um, we're going to put a, hopefully a little bit more focus on just all enjoying the time together, and uh, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some things done. It's it's I think I think over all of the parks they're calling ten out of ten crowd levels every single day. Because it's New Jersey and, and Maryland's um, spring break as well. Yeah, and then looking up the weather, so next Monday for Lake Monte Vista, we have a high of 86. Yeah, not bad. 84 on Tuesday, 87 on Wednesday. Okay. Yep. And the, yeah, if it's one of the if it's those are the temps when the sun is just out and beating, then it'll it'll feel like it's a hundred. <laughs> Which was Sunday. I mean, we oh, we yeah. haven't had a hot day yet. Um, but Sunday, it got up to 84, 85 there at Hollywood Studios and no clouds. Yep. So it was gorgeous in the morning. It was gorgeous in the shade. But by the time we left, you know, 1 o'clock, you know, one thirty something like that, it was hot. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, and when that sun beats down. Uh, so lots of, uh, yeah, lots of sunscreen. And, and I'm sure your guys' weather will be gorgeous when you're cruising on a... Uh, a boat or a ship. Yeah, let's, we'll see Castaway Key. If, um, oh, according to itinerary, we would be there on Wednesday. We will be cooler than you. Oh, high, yeah, but that'll be God. That'll be a nice cool. <laughs> uh, high of high of eighty, low of sixty nine, which means there's very little chance I make it into the water. Y- yeah, yeah. That's, that's true. the, you know, that's the only thing that I uh, that I look at for it and. Um, no different NASA when we docked there on Tuesday, a high of 80 as well. So um, doesn't look like either of us have rain 
forecast for um, at least the first part of our trips, which yeah. will be good. Um, but obviously, we're both looking forward to it. And yeah, I look forward to uh, those reviews. We'll have a, a ton of things to talk about. Oh yeah, it'll be great. Yeah, we'll have to, we'll set it up and um, we'll we'll do one where you know I, I'll we'll set it up where I'll kind of interview you about your trip, and then we can do another one where you know you kind of interview me about mine, and um, that'll be fun. Or maybe we'll uh, actually maybe we'll have uh, Michelle on with you know about your guys' trip, and, and we can have Ronda on for our trip and get some of the uh the input from the wives as well yep well maybe we can knock that out uh next weekend i like well it. the yep. follow- following following yeah. weekend. yeah that'll be that e- yep it'll be that easter weekend we'll all yep. we'll be back and um yeah ready to share our experiences so um well, everyone thanks so much for listening and of course you know make sure you go out and subscribe to our show on itunes and if you can please leave us a rating and review well, that's all for now we'll see you real soon 